All right, day two for us, 5.45. We're out here, we're the only ones out here at the moment besides Big Bird and Sean rolling up, nature boy. Last day of the tournament, a lot of birds fished yesterday. I believe we're still holding second as far as I know. Big Bird's still in first, so we need a good one today. We've got some live spot again. We've got the dredges, we've got the plastics. We've got it all. Hopefully we can find some big bluefish lurking around in here. We got an outgoing tide this morning. It should switch to incoming closer to Lions in at 7 a.m. And uh, yeah, we're at the same spot as Friday, the 50 bridge. And hopefully there's some chompers around. It'd be cool to catch a 13, 14. And that'd be awesome. But we'll see what happens. Check in with you guys here in a little bit. Here comes Bird and Sean rolling up. See if I can replicate that. I mean, yeah, I keep marking fish under us. Yeah, so day two we made a little game plan of I was gonna let Brian work the live spot because he did so well with them on Friday. And, you know, I was tearing them up in the plastics, so I was just gonna stick to my plastics and work in the dredges. And he's gonna fish the live spot, unless he started to burn them up on the live spot, in which case we'd both drop them. But, uh, yeah, it just was a slower day all around on Sunday. We still did end up getting into quite a few fish. It just wasn't as much action as Friday. You'll see here in the video. Uh, I got what clips I could, like I said in the first episode. Filming wasn't my priority. We were in the tournament and to win it, so I got what clips I could, and yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. As you can see here, they were stacked up under the boat, so I was kind of like vertical jigging them there, and uh, it was really fun. I caught a few. I don't know um, how many I got on camera, but it was neat. There's the young guns there, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy.
I was gonna say, the same thing that makes them fun also makes them a pain. Tearing them up on plastic, we just can't find the big one we need to get us higher up on the leaderboard. So we'll see what happens. Here. right next to us here. Bent Fishing Community. I'm Jeff Rosenkild Sr. I'm a boater, fishing enthusiast, but I'm also in the insurance business. So I'm sure you've experienced it like everyone else has, a little bit of sticker shock when you opened up your renewal bill for your latest uh, insurance policy. We specialize in marine contractors, boats, both charter, pleasure, etc. Uh, also do all types of subcontractor insurance. So if you're in any type of subcontracting business, or just want an honest second opinion, just give me a call when you get a minute. Uh, my number is 443-324-3294. 
I also have uh, included a QR code if you just want to scan my information and pop it in your phone to give me a call later. I'd be glad to help. Uh, so enjoy your day fishing, and I hope you guys are doing great out there. Keep those rods bent. Bye. All right, last day, blues for DU, heading to the weigh-in. I got a little guy I'm going to get a picture with, but Brian's got a nice one. We're hoping it might be enough for third, even though I don't want to knock my boy Flatty Daddy out of the out of the leaderboard. It'd be cool to get second and third. So we will see what happens. Weighing it now, let's see. Here we go again. There's the leaderboard. We got the 10 pounds. 10, 10 pounds, one ounce. Man, so close. It's getting close. That thing must have lost some weight. Another ounce, he's been in third place. I know. Dang. All right, guys, moment of truth. Back here at Fishtails PM Marina. And it's ceremony time. As far as I know, we're still holding second. There's my son and my mom. Everybody's here, the whole crew. Pretty awesome. Locals swept the board as far as I know. Big Bird first, us second, and Flatty Daddy in third, I believe, is still the outcome. So let's check it out. Let's walk this way, guys. Show you guys a little bit more of Fishtails and Bahia Marina. Shout out to Sean Harmon and the crew over here for putting on the blues for DU, which is Ducks Unlimited. And they are uh, conservation, local conservation group, nonprofit. They do a lot of good stuff. But let's get checked in here. And... So it appears it's still standing. I think this is official. I think the weigh ins are over. So. Look at these little puppies. And look, and then the big one. Look at these little puppies. Oh my God. Yeah, the Joey Warner finds that cool. Look at these little puppies. Are you guys playing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a metal plate there, right? <laughs> <laughs> I hope we don't have a thunderstorm. Okay. I'm going to try to give out the money now so that you guys can enjoy dinner and maybe you'll. Maybe you'll tip the waitress better. All right, so I'm going to start with the junior angler, which is Mason Hetherington. Eight pounds, three ounce bluefish. She's not here. Really? That's wrong. Well, we'll keep that for her. Don't go anywhere. Hang on. All right, so I'm going to go from the bottom up. Yeah, they're on the way. They're, okay. They'll be here soon. It'll be fine. I know. I'm starting a little early. Yeah. You know, I know you guys, everybody's been hanging out. In All right, so. This is where it gets crazy. Because <laughs> there are Calcuttas and being across the board and all that. So. The fifth heaviest bluefish at 10 pounds on the hog tie, Randy Menzer. Ends up being third place in the 100 and 150 Calcutta, and we have a check for 370. Or we have, I'm sorry, we have cash for 375. So if Randy's here, we're not doing checks. We're doing all cash and envelope. Yeah. That's why we love you. <laughs> Come here, run. <laughs> there's, there's, there's no 10.99. I'm not doing well. Everybody's here. So, third place. All right. Third place 
on the trigger happy at 10 pounds, two ounces, Pat McGee. It's, I'm not really sure how this came out, but he gets $1,301. Hang on, don't go anywhere because I got a check for a big check for you. I'll be right here. <laughs> Just saying. So I know it's not really big, but the check's not big. And you got a big check. So turn around and we get a picture of you. Make sure I'm getting here too. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, my turn. Of course, Coastal Fisher is not here. Stuck in traffic oh, again. We'll send him the Scooter pictures. couldn't get over here either. <laughs> Thank you guys. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. That's Jimmy again. So, his second place is Walk on Water. Brian Reynolds, 11 pounds, two ounces. And you almost got bumped, but the guy was an ounce short. Um, he had second place Calcutta at 50, so he gets 1120 bucks. That'll buy dinner. What are you getting there for? Come on! <laughs> if your house is on fire, please, please hope that he doesn't come after you. Okay, and here's, and here's the big money people. I think you all know who it is. Lost time. Like maybe lost the last three years, whatever. Anyway, that would be Big Bird Cropper, and I can't and I can't say Big Bird Cropper without saying Nature Boy Sean was with him because that's how they fish, and he has he has managed to garner thirty nine hundred and eighty four dollars. And that's the 50, the 100, the 150, and a $200 winner take all. So. Oh, nice job. Hold well up, boys. Good job. Thank you. And Big Bird's going to buy drinks for everyone. The man, the man, the Nature Boy and Big Bird, unbeatable duo, became I will say that I come to beat him. I will say that in the beginning of the tournament, if I had to make a bet, I'd have put it on Big Bird and Sean anyway. So that's a lot. But for a guy that only fishes like nine days a week, <laughs> it would be really nice if I had a job where I could fish nine days a week. You know, you know, I'm telling the truth. <laughs> Do you have enough room in your in your man cave for all them checks you got? <laughs> so anyway, thank you all. Talk some of it. Thank you. Thank you. I thank you. So, uh, enjoy your dinner. We thought this would be better than like burgers and dogs in the parking lot. So. Have a great time. Thank you all for helping out and, and supporting DU. And I don't know. That's I'm not really big thanks to Budweiser. They gave us five grand, which will go straight to DU through us. But um, I'm not gonna say drink Budweiser. All right, guys. Budweiser. Thanks drink for watching. Day. Thanks for tuning in. We couldn't have been more stoked with that outcome. Budweiser. I mean. First place would be cool, <laughs> but Big opinion. Bird and Sean are a hard duo to beat, so we were pretty stoked with that. And like I said, it was Brian's first tournament, and first one I've done in a while since the Fish and Paddle tournament, so 
we at least made a couple bucks, got our money back that we put in for bait, fuel, and entry fees, and yeah, overall, just great weekend, great weather, fun fishing, and we caught a ton of fish, I mean, it's a big, there's a big striper Brian caught, and uh, Brian was really on him with those live spots, but it was awesome, hope you guys enjoyed, like, subscribe, share the video, and follow us on Instagram, and we'll see you next time.